Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. Would you like to enact a little bit of chaos with me? I've got my brand new toy here, and I thought we would do this together. Let's nail these creepers into charge creepers, Hawkeye style, and potentially bring a bit of chaos to Hermitcraft. If you want to see some chaos brought to Hermitcraft, just type chaos into the comments because I feel like Hermitcraft has gone a little soft. Everybody's building their mega bases. They're ultra super geared out. And as I said, I want to mix things up on Hermitcraft. I want to inject some chaos. I just missed. Can I redeem my Hawkeye-ness? Yes! nailed it. Now you're probably asking how we're going to enact our plan. Well, you're just going to have to find out. For now, I need some heads and I want to see if I can teleport away from these while they explode. Oop, not far enough. <laughs> it's a good thing we were scar safe and had a token of undying on us. Attempt number two here. We need to trigger two creepers into a charged state via the trident and then we need one of them to explode next to the other. Teleport, teleport away to hopefully drop ourselves a creeper head. Yes, oh, that makes me super happy. Oh, nice. Now the question is, can we get a skeleton to go with the other two to make a trio? We should do it, shouldn't we? Let's do it. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, crud. Oh no, make my daring escape. No, one more quick. No, oh, where was my token? Oh, I was out. But it was a big brain move to sleep back there, wasn't it? Yeah, but maybe not the smartest move to use chorus fruit to make my daring escape. <laughs> oh, this is truly a walk of horrors. Oh my gosh, are we gonna make it to the end? <laughs> We're dodging, we're weaving. I'm getting very sweaty. You didn't need to know that, but now you know it. Oh, thank the maker as C-3PO would say. Our stuff is intact, hold on. Hello, fellow zombies. It is me, a fellow zombie. That's right, I'm just gonna pick up the remains of some foolish Minecrafter. That's right, let's steal all this stuff and, and rejoice. And that didn't work. I am out of here. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. But on the other hand, quite therapeutic to blast those creepers with the trident. That is, that is really, really fun. So I've got a plan today, as I said, to enact a bit of uh, craziness on the server and it's contained in this box but we have to get our work done before we play our build today is completing our redstone shop now you might be asking why we can't enact our chaos now and that's because nobody's on and or afking so we will work on our shop now and i've got some really cool ideas for this place. The great thing about this build is it's kind of enormous and we've got a ton of room here. So let's take a little peek here. Down in the lobby area, we have two stories. So that's where the redstone shop's gonna go. And then in the sandstone section, we have three stories here that we can either sell to hermits for their shops or put some future things up here. And we even got this upper level in the copper zone, which might be like my storage and crafting area for builds here in the shopping district. So a recap on the basic design of the shop. It's an historic building that's been restored by a tech company to be their flagship shop selling all of their advanced tech, which of course is redstone here in Minecraft. So we'll have all the classical architecture throughout the building and then the high tech devices laid out on tables here. And then on either flank of the building here, we will have places where you actually pick up the items and pay for them. Now, how do we make this a little bit more interesting. We do it in three steps. One, we create a unique and interesting name that's a parody of a existing tech company. Two, we create the galaxy brains. Apple's got the geniuses, well we've got the galaxy brains. And three, best of all, customer of the month. For the hermit who spends the most money in the shop, the following month they get billboards with their face on them, they get special discounts, I'll come to their bases personally and make their redstone far, far more efficient. So, that's the plan. I'm super excited about this and I hope you are too. So if we're going to become the most profitable shop on the server selling redstone, we're gonna need a lot of resources to make this happen. And I also feel like this will eventually lead to a lot of really cool farms and things like that to help us produce 
the items that we need. It will be very nice when we do have some farms set up because I have been harvesting everything myself here. We will be purchasing our slime and our iron, and I'm working very hard right now on the stone and the cobblestone, but I have actually set up our mattress store. Sadly, no hermit has taken me up yet on building them a bed, but I have added the signs and everything they need to know to, of course, find how to purchase a bed. And if they want, they can also purchase beds from the Wall of Color, which looks absolutely beautiful. Don't forget to remind me, we need to restock. Oh, I thought you were a flying Enderman. <laughs> Wow, look at that. How on earth did you get onto a pane? I didn't know they could teleport onto a block like that. Wow, that is slightly unnerving, but beautiful in a weird way. This is absolutely disgusting. Some hermit has put magenta terracotta arrow blocks surrounding my base. I think this might be a road layout, but they know that the Better Block Association has banned this block from Hermitcraft, and I have, <laughs> I have put signs on every single one of them. Remove, delete, no, Darth Vader style. My eyes, this hurts. Just take it away. Someone will pay for that. And with that, let's jump into super fast build mode and transform this building into our tech shop. super fast build mode and we have got the interior for our redstone shop ready to roll now as you can see it is a little bit sparse on decorations but the details are heavy and we will get to those decorations like on these tables or the perfect place to put our different pieces of redstone tech that our customers can view and when they're ready to purchase they can head over to not a fireplace no this isn't a fireplace why does everybody think this is a fireplace <laughs> I've had multiple people say, oh, you got a big fireplace over here. It's not. It's a cabinet full of fancy redstone supplies. <laughs> anyway, we've got our chest here where we're going to have all of our different uh, redstone items. And then above it is where we're going to take some armor stands, some item frames, and we're going to represent what is in each one of these chests. Now, I don't know how to do the payment system. You remember how I said we're going to have customers of the month for the most uh, purchased items? I'm not sure how to calculate it or figure that out. So if somebody comes in here, say it's Doc, and he buys a bunch of, um, um, what, what are those things called? Capacitors? Capacitors. And he pays for it, right? How do I account him from, say, Mumbo or something? It's a little bit confusing. I'm not 100% sure how to do that yet, but maybe you could help me anyway um these are going to be perfect places to put maybe old tech right maybe it's old retired tech that's like museum pieces up here which i think can be really really nice now we do have a second story above but i don't really know what to do up there yet other than i think it just looks nice as a little bit of depth for the build so wow i'm really good at elevatoring <laughs> So yeah, it looks cool up here. I just don't really know what to do yet with it. So we'll figure that out eventually. But uh, yeah, this was a really, really fun build. Tons of incredible detail like in our ceiling, our chandeliers, our window frames, and, uh, and our floors. So 
That was a really fun build. But that's not all we worked on. We've got the road extended all the way up to our building that B Debs designed and started down by his shop. And we've taken his design and we've extended all the way across here. We added some of our trees, our lamppost designs. We've got garbage cans and we even have fire hydrants. I swapped out all of the andesite and replaced it with granite and bricks. So that kind of ties a little bit more into B Debs area. No, this isn't Aqua Town don't say that anyway i think this area looks absolutely fantastic and if we fly to the back we've even have the back of the building somewhat decorated it's not perfect but this section right here is going to be our customer of the month billboard so we're going to have their billboard across the back and then once we build the road here we will have more decorations so as always the back of things in hermitcraft is always a work in progress oh look the moss boss has a customer now that the shop is done it's uh, time for a little bit of grinding. I've got to be honest with you. I thought we would get more from these boxes than we got. So that is all of it. Hmm. Hey, Scar, why are you pooping out diamond blocks? Well, XB and I did a little uh, Old West shootout here on this road for these diamond blocks. And in the end, he's probably going to get them back because I'm going to buy out all of his slime and his iron. So check out XB's uh, channel for the full clip. It's a good one. We just spent 15 diamond blocks and we're now full of supplies. Now, this is the way to get to the temporary workshop you go up to the second level and then you fly up there you hit your head you bounce down and bam you're in the greatest redstone workshop of all time i have been crapping for hours and hours to produce all of these redstone materials we've got our repeaters our capacitors our droppers our dispensers which are the most painful thing to craft our observers our uh, piston pushers and of course our hoppers i do want to sell uh, redstone dust but i don't have a ton of that the redstone shop is now open doesn't have a name yet but i'm working on it but as you can see the interior is now decorated and all the items for sale are in their respective chests in the cabinets definitely not a fireplace but as you can see i've done a little bit of work decorating the tables here with all the different pieces of redstone that you can use in the game and over time i'm going to continue to add more and more things throughout this area some of these are done with armor stands and i'd love to be able to do some more fancy like custom things but I have no zombie Cleo. She is a master at this type of thing. So maybe someday if she's open to it, maybe we'll uh, hire her to come in here and do some magic or something like that if she's open to it. So uh, yeah, I am super happy with this. And as I said, all of these items are now filled up and ready to go. Some of them are rather expensive because resources are still tough to come by even at this point of the season. So when resources are more plentiful, we will lower the prices. I'm not lowering the price on this. These are really painful to make. Over the course of the season, we're gonna continue to evolve this shop, like bring in the galaxy brains, add the billboards, add the uh, customer of the month. All these little things are gonna continue to be added throughout the season. So lots more to look forward to with this shop. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited for what we're about to do. Think about it this way. We just finished all of our work and now it's time to play. And as I said, inside this box is a little bit of chaos to mix things up here on Hermitcraft. And what's in here, I actually had made like nine or 10 months ago, but I never had a chance to use it until today. That's right. We've got, <laughs> we have got creeper hats. That is right. I was inspired by Tango's trees in season eight, had these creepers made, but we didn't have a chance to use them. So this is what we did in season four. We had a creeper head, we had a suit, we did it again in season eight, but it's 2022. It's time to take it up a notch. We have the standing still. We have the walking. We have the exploding and the boom boom. Oh, this is going to be glorious. Oh, look at the look at the little creeper in my hand. OK, I'm so excited. Let's put this on for the first. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is, that is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually how we're going to do this. We're going to take down our potion 
And then we are now, a wait a second, can I be a flying creeper? Oh my gosh, we're a flying creeper. That's gonna die like a sad little birdie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh golly gee, this is my favorite thing of all time. Oh, I am, I'm just absolutely in love with this. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> okay, time to find a hermit. Our first target is Cub. I've set up a base of operations. <laughs> oh, these little creepers are so funny. Okay, I gotta concentrate. He's got this farm he's building here, and we need to find a way of getting in without him hearing. Oh, 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 there he goes. Where's he going? Okay, he's back. So the key is to get on this platform without us making noise. So, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Cub. Cub is untrickable. Nothing happened at all, Cub. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing to worry about. You didn't see even, even a thing, Cub. I don't know why you would kill an innocent creeper. I saw that from a distance. I'm like, dang, man, you know, creepers have feelings, Cub. And yo, I actually said, nice try, sucker. <laughs> Thinking it was an actual creeper. <laughs> he just died. That is such a good disguise. <laughs> I couldn't see Cub. I couldn't get up to you without making a sound. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like contemplating. How do I get up to the platform without making any sounds? Man, that had me totally fooled. I thought it was just a regular creeper. And I was like, oh, this, this creeper thinks he's smart. I see how it is. Good luck, sucker. <laughs> Good luck. Bam. And then I'm like, oh, that was Scar? What the heck? Attempt number two. We've arrived at <laughs> Hypno's Honey Farm. This place is enormous. There are farms everywhere. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There he is. There he is. I see his name tag. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Is that you, Scar? Oh, you know, just checking on the farms, you know, making sure everything's inspected correctly. Uh-huh, okay. I'm just a building inspector. If I don't see something to code, I blow it up. Ah, it's just the way I roll these days. <laughs> Try it on. Oh, you know. what is this? Try it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh, I am so happy we got somebody after <laughs> Cub killing us. And you didn't see it, but Tango's just like, Hi, Scar. So I'm so glad we got a reaction. It's a little tough to figure out how to like properly walk, make sure you look like a creeper, and then swap between the different ones. But let's go get someone else. Surprise Mountain. Green is online. Now the question is where to find him? Target acquired. Okay, we need to sneak or no. No, no, Green, no, come back, please. I wonder if we could get a position and if he re-logs in, he would see us. Oh, that would be terrifying. Hi, it's your neighborhood friendly creeper. I have been sitting here for 45 minutes and he's eating his dinner. I've drinking seven invisibility potions here. I'm gonna wait for him another time. Joe is in the end. Oh my gosh, Scar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got me so good that time. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm, I'm just over here. How do you make that flash? Are you cycling between multiple skins? Oh, I got a whole set of Joe. Joe, try it on, try it on, put it on for yourself. Oh, okay, oh man, that is terrifying. Wow. Especially when you look up and down. Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh my gosh, it's a decked out creeper. Oh, I love it. All right, our next target is Doc here. Let's put on our suit. I don't want him to see me put it on. I want him to go in the building here. So let's pop this one on. Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's right around the corner. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, here we... No, 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 come back. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I don't see his name tag. It was just disappeared on me. We're gonna make some noise here if we don't hit the water. Oh, we hit the water. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna hide in this. Oh, he's gonna hear the slurpees going down. Oh no! Okay, I'm just chilling in the corner. I think he may have went through the portal. So I'm hoping he might pop through it. <gasps> that was a foot sound. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> He ran for his life through the portal. Grian is back on. Is there someone there? Yes. That's Scar! Oh my god! That was so obscenely loud in my ear! Oh my goodness! You give me a look of terror. How are you doing that? This is 2.0 of my uh, creeper, my former creeper suit. Oh my goodness! He's he's perfected it. Now, th what gave you away, Scar, was your invisible particles. I know. There's no way around that. Do you want to wear one and go after Cleo? Yeah, I do. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The creeper's got hair! <laughs> oh, that's so weird! Okay. I was I was in the middle of showing, so I'll, I'll come back to this. No problem. No problem. I wasn't I wasn't busy. A vault can be raided at any time. A creeper costume. I knew, see, I could see that there was someone there, Scar, but it was so loud it made me squeal. <laughs> I'm so glad that's what got you. I don't know how to get across. This is MCC, get to the other side. So anything that goes in here is gonna have to have like an armor stand thing placed upon it, but I can put a flower here. And where's my, uh, I don't have my, what I would call my lollipop here. Oh, you know what? Let's let's put a rare flower in it. Wait, so let's put the lilies in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stab you so hard. <laughs> I hate you so much. I've never laughed more in nervous. I'm crying. Dude, just cry. Cry. Hard. That was the best <laughs> ever. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Hi, Cleo. Your base Why? is really coming together. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Why are you two like this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Scar's a bad influence. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure this is Scar's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How? How are you doing this? <laughs> would, you, I don't... would you like to wear one? <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> it's a red-headed <laughs> creeper! I need to take this off otherwise I can't see, but... Oh my goodness! This is my, this is my ultimate attempt at creating a creeper costume. I've made many versions. This... Is the piece that I don't want? Okay, I, I the, that, the piece that I don't want. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, no. no, 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 no. That's what happens when I, when I finish my artwork. I'm like, here's my piece that I don't want. Oh, oh. Scar, away. Go. Where's my, where's I'm my, where's my creep? Oh, yeah, there we go. Away, Scar, away. It's like the monkeys from Wizard of Oz. Dun, 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 Grian just lost all of his gear to some trap from Mumbo. But while we're getting him geared back up, I just came up with the best idea for B dubs. Like, it's an elaborate plan. We've gotten from being like struck immediately with Cub to an elaborate plan now. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm not going to tell you because I want you to be surprised. Worthless redstone. Jeez. Hello? Unbelievable. What kind of craftsmanship? Hello? Oh, hey, B Dubs. Do I hear a customer? A customer in distress, B Dubs. I have been trying to make the Moss Boss machine work all day to little to no effect. Moss Boss? Ma Where are you? I'm up in the redstone area, the place that doesn't work up here. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh, you! Oh! Oh, I even heard the boo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, Scar! You know what I should have done? As soon as I saw it, I should have. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sent me outside. That would have saved me. Ah! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> There's two. With all your, there's two people. How did Grin! you scare me? I knew you were here, Grand. Oh, that was the, that was the worst. <laughs> Scar gave, beat up Scar gave me like the most elaborate instructions, and then I walk upstairs just like he asked, and I scared him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, isn't it fitting though? I mean, Scar, Scar's got to fall for his own prank. <laughs> Instant karma! Scott, you told me to be that! <laughs> I tried to play it off so calmly too, I'm like, oh, never mind. Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> Would you like to try one on, B Dubs? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just a genuine terror when I came around that corner. He's a that, mossy creeper. That went wrong in the best way possible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He just came sneaking up that staircase so silently. Uh, okay. I wasn't I sure. I didn't know you guys were already, like, I didn't know Scar was already up there doing the thing. I was like, do I go in yet? And then I hear you guys talking, oh, I'm, I'm late. I've missed my cue. <laughs> So he Scar knows. got me, but like I, I could see the particles, and I knew it was someone. Yes. But then he played yes. that really loud music, and it made me squeal. <laughs> <laughs> this was perfect because I didn't see anything. All I saw was the flash of the creeper when I opened the door. Oh, that was it. And you hit me too with the sword. Those quick, quick reflexes. Well, yeah, years of training. That's true. It's true. Oh, these are amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have never laughed more in Hermitcraft than today, and I really hope you at home are also laughing along, having a good time. By the way, those are creeper abs, and yes, that is a cursed image right there. Oh, my gosh, that is, that is shocking. Wow, I have like a face hugger creeper on my face. Oh, my gosh. But I hope you guys enjoy. We built out the shop. We created some chaos. Now, a very important question for you before we go. This is very important. What should we name this shop? Should it be a parody of Microsoft? Should it be a parody of Apple or a parody of our previous redstone shop? cherry which was actually a parody of apple so it's a double parody and we could call it tomato or if it is microsoft or windows it could be doors or shutters and the ceo is a uh, bill fence post so we have a ton of possibilities but we also are rich now. So in the comments, on Twitter, and on my Discord, let me know what name is best. Tomato, Doors, Shutters, and until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I. Always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos, and if you believe the video deserved rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later, and don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become creepered. <laughs>